Welcome to episode one of Homeworld. One hundred years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the great desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara. Our home. The clans were united, and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. This is Fleet Command. Reporting Mothership pre-launch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. Mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away. I'll turn the. Excuse me. 
maybe I'll turn the volume down here in just a minute. Stand by for command line testing. Mind, this game was made in 1999, and it was, uh, it's still one of the greatest, um, greatest games I've ever played. And I wanted to show it to you guys because I don't think that, um, I don't think many modern gamers have had a chance to take a look at this, and a lot of you are gonna just judge it by its graphics, but I hope you take a look at it based on its story. By. Fleet intelligence going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters, and destroy the drones. Reporting. Group 1 reporting. Ready for orders. Hold on, I'm trying to remember how to do this. <laughs> Waiting assignment. Group one copies. Group one receiving. Target drones destroyed. Replacement drones are being sent to the same location. Completion of this trial requires the use of a formation. Begin again. Available resources consumed. Replacement drones are being sent to the same location. Completion of this trial requires the use of a formation. Begin again. <laughs> Where's the formation? Hold on. Group 
We're receiving. Establishing broad formation. X locked in. Claw locked in. Wall locked in. Sphere formation confirmed. Establishing X formation. Understood. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. So, back in the day when, when this game was actually released, it was the first 3D um, space strategy game that allowed you to actually move within, you know, a third dimension, which was pretty phenomenal back in its time. And they haven't really made another game to match it since this came out. I mean, I haven't seen a single strategy game aside from its sequels that, that came to not only the storytelling capabilities of this game but also the um, you know the scope of the game yeah there's been other 3D strategy games and 3D space strategy games but none of them that, that left a mindset of, of homeworld in there and uh, it's just unfortunate that they haven't continued this series but You'll see as we go through this. Let's play. Group one. Assuming Delta formation. X formation confirmed. Target acquired. Intercept core is punched in. Now, for my interceptors and fighters, I tend to like uh, evasive better, and here I'll show that to you right now, because it doesn't clump your guys up as much, and it spreads them out, and they're able to engage targets a little bit more easily, and uh, they're a little harder to hit. Downside to it is, is they're not as efficient at killing stuff, so we'll go back to aggressive here. And you can see they just slaughter everything on aggressive. <laughs> Tactics trial complete. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. Group one acknowledged. Locked on to mothership. Doc con enabled. Production underway.
Construction commencing. Mothership. So, and the mothership can actually hold quite a few ships docked inside of it, actually. And uh, a buddy in my, of mine and I wanted to create a first-person shooter version of home where you got to fly one of those uh, group three designated one of those ships around, and. Um, it would have been on like a, a massively multiplayer scale where you had motherships, capital ships, and all, and all that fun stuff. Research um, ship complete. But our paths in life kind of took different routes and uh, we were unable to do it. The primary research ship has been constructed. Research division is online. Begin fighter chassis research immediately. Commencing heavy fighter chassis research. Right-clicking, that's why it didn't work. <laughs> Got it, we're locked on here. And one of the fun tactics to use in, uh, in the multiplayer of this game is to set up a whole bunch of hyperspace inhibitors around your mothership and then use uh, salvage corvettes to salvage any any enemy uh, capital ships that come in to try to take out your your mothership. It actually ends up working out pretty good. Um, or at least it used to. I don't know if that would work anymore because I don't think anybody plays this multiplayer anymore. <laughs> What are these? Are these scouts? Yeah, they are. Group one copies. Mothership. Alright, we just salvaged that drone. Stand by for a hyperdrive test. Internal pressure door sealed. A port system standing by. Hyperspace module fully charged. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. Heavy fighter chassis research complete. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. Interceptor available for construction. Mothership. I'm gonna build a few interceptors production underway and hold on let me figure out some more keys real fast
select all invisible, research manager, harvest, move, next tactic, scuttle, ship special, Z, kamikaze, cancel orders. Mothership. There it is, the launch menu. Reporting for duty. Docking with mothership initiated. Ready for orders. Coming into dock with mothership. Oh, okay. I get it. Get all of our dudes docked up. Interceptor complete. All right, we should be good to go now. Auto docking. Ships remaining too. Who else is out there? All oh, those two guys. Alright, we're gonna test out our hyperdrive system and see if this thing works. This is the first ship in all of Karak to have a hyperdrive system on it, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. And not like our Kerbal Space Program. Hyperspace initiated. Oh, here it goes! All hyperspace systems operating at full power. If the hyperspace targeting system is accurate, we will emerge in close proximity to the support vessel Car Salim. This ship has spent the past 10 years traveling on conventional drives to reach the outer Karak system. The Kar Salim will monitor the quantum waveform as we return to normal space and assist in tuning our drive control systems. If the hyperspace module malfunctions, the Kar Salim will provide assistance and resupply. Mission objectives will be to dock with the support vessel in order to complete adjustments to the mothership and her drives. Welcome to the outskirts of the Karak system. We made it. Hyperspace jump complete. All systems nominal, and the quantum wave effect has dissipated. We have missed jumped. The support ship is not here. Fleet Command will signal the Kar Salim while we confirm our current position. This is the mothership calling support vessel Kar Salim. Come in, please. We have missed jumped and are requesting your beacon. This is the mothership calling support vessel Kar Salim. Please respond. Group 9 designated. Mothership. Priority alert. We have picked up the Kar Salim's automated beacon. Hey, what's the Kar Salim doing out there? Send a probe to make contact and re-establish communications. Alright, let's try. Maybe it's the asteroid field is interfering with our communications here. Production underway. Let's build some more interceptors too, because I don't think we have enough of those. Probe complete. Construction commencing. Alright, group nine. Group nine. Group nine copies. X formation confirmed. All right, our probe is ready. Let's go ahead and send that out there. Probe dispatched. No 
Wait. What's wrong with the car scene? Huh? There's a hole in it. Oh no. It's been destroyed. Pay for this insolence. Rebel copies. They're attacking. The mothership is under attack. Engage incoming units. The mothership must be defended. Group 1 reassigned. X formation confirmed. Probe in position. Mothership. Group 1 reporting enemy contact. Group 9 reporting. Pick your target and we're under attack. Mothership sustained minor hull damage. Repairs are underway. Attack complete. Entering holding pattern. The car Salim has been destroyed. Heavy weapon damage is visible on the remaining fragment. A salvage corvette must be sent to retrieve the mission data recorder. See, one of the most awesome things about Homeworld Mothership is the fact that you're looking at your interface. It's clean. <laughs> it only pops up when you do your mouse over it down here. Other than that, you have your tactical display and everything's clean. See you, next time. you get to appreciate the glory that the graphics are and, uh, and enjoy the game. And yeah, these graphics are all that in a bag of chips right now. Interceptor complete. When this game came out, these things, this was amazing. Anyway, uh, this has been episode one of Let's Play Homeworld. And uh, we'll go ahead and investigate that uh, Carcel in and get its flight data recorder in episode two. I hope that you've enjoyed this little book, uh, trip back into nostalgia. And, um, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and your support is appreciated. I hope that you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.